when that harvest hits and you find yourself just overwhelmed at all that bounty you produced, sometimes I feel like you might get a little bit bored. Crazy, I know, you're so stoked to come winter, you're gonna be wishing you had all that stuff, but I feel like sometimes, you know, your preparations get a little monotonous and same could go when you're putting on a pizza. That's why I like to change it up a little bit, changing up those textures, all my different preparations. Today, I had a little too many peppers, various colors, so I whirled that up along with some walnuts, some garlic, also some lemon to bring it all together. You know, it's kind of like a pesto. I'm not gonna call it that because I like to save that term for the OG, the green, but this is a beautiful, nice roasted pepper spread. Mine actually doesn't look all that bomb because I got the mix of the different colors in there, the orange and yellow. And this, uh, it, it's not as appetizing as I would like, but it's super dank on the pie. If you go all red pepper, it's gonna look really bright and nice. Along with that, the zooks, the summer squash, whatever you wanna call it. I don't know, what do you guys call it? Where, where you're from? Let me know down in the comments. I feel like this is a bomb piece of topping. I, it, you know what? What I'm seeing whenever I put a zucchini pie up, it doesn't get as much love. So let me know, does it suck or what? But I'm going on, putting it on today because that's one of those ones that's so easy to grow in the summertime. And I think it tastes delicious, especially when you prep it like this, super thin. I shave them into coins on the mandolin. Salted, you wanna do that, pull out some of that moisture. You don't want that dumping onto your pizza. Makes for a really good zucchini, summer squash, whatever you wanna call it, pizza. Along with that, some shallots. I feel a little bite from there. Brings it all together along with, we're going headies today. I got the Reggiano, the Parm, the core shred, Chris Bianco, Pizza Bianco style. I, I used to do this the, like a little bit finer. And he was telling me that's what he always does for his Rosa, the coarse. I like it, especially on a vegetarian pie like this. That flavor really comes through along with that. Got the fresh mozz. I got it diced up today just for ease of application, you know? So, all right, we're gonna get the natty all stretched out. I'm gonna show you how this build this thing. We'll watch it bake in the uni. Sit down, have it a taste. It's pizza time. Got my natty dough all stretched out. I'm gonna start building this firemost vegetarian pizza dough recipe up on santabarbarabaker.com. I got the full guide on there with videos showing all the steps of the process. Recipe on the blog, you can always change it up too. It's just more of a guide to get you guys started. I'm hitting it with this coarsely grated parm to start off, then going right into the mozz. On a white pie like this, I'm less concerned about the arrangement of it because I want just a blanket kind of uniform coverage on this. When I'm doing a red pie, I like that little bit more of like a splotchy look, a little more like funky kind of vibes going on. But this would just make sure the whole thing's covered. Looking really nice today. This dough felt nicely proofed. I went for a little bit longer proof uh, before I fermented it, cold, did the cold fermentation. It's feeling really nice. How long? Eh, it was about three hours this time. It's been warmer weather here, so I've been keeping that really short today or this week I went a little longer. All right, what are we gonna go into next? Let's hit it with those shallots. I just got these just, you know, sliced up nice and thin. Adds a nice little bite to the pizza. I like to put these farther down on the, uh, when you're building the pie, cause you know, they could burn. Some people like that burn onion flavor, other people don't. I'm gonna put it, you know, we're, we're going kind of middle here. All right, on to our, let's not call it a pesto or whatever you wanna say. It's some sort of roasted pepper spread. It's roasted peppers, walnuts, garlic, also some lemon juice. It's really bomb. I'm just going to do little dollops in between the cheese here, making sure, you know, every slice gets a nice little bite of it. It's, you know, a bit on the stronger side, but you don't need to go super sparingly. Definitely want to have that flavor coming through. That's one of the key components of this pizza. That's what I feel like, you know, sometimes vegetarian pizzas can get a little stagnant, a little boring, stuff like this, you know, blending it up, changing that texture of, of whatever veg you're getting in there can really change up your pies. Keep it interesting, especially if you got big harvest day. Oh, I'm talking too much getting that. You want to be really careful on that. That was a full goober move right there. I'm getting onto the crust like that. You can just kind of clean it up. Got my towel here, but I want to make sure that that doesn't get onto the marble because we'll have some issues picking it up. All right, with that distraction, onto, not roni cups, the zoot cups. 
they're kind of cool. They can kind of cup up like that. You get the kind of the look of the Roni cups, but it's a full different flavor. And it's bomb. When you slice them really thin like this, you can go huge on it. And it makes for a really cool look, I feel like. Going to kind of just separate these out as much as I can. So we just do like one layer across the whole pie. And like I was saying, I always salt these to dry out, draw out some of the moisture. And that said, even if you drain them, they still might be a little wet. Be careful as you're building it. You want to keep that off your workspace. Just trying to get any moisture back in your bowl, not onto the, not onto anywhere where you're working. I'm gonna load this up, fatty. And you know my little intro failed to mention to round this thing out. Once we get it out of the oven, after it does its little rest, we'll hit it with some fresh basil along with some chives. I tried this pizza last night. It's a bomb one. I can't wait to hit it again. It looks so good. This zucchini so fresh. All right, that's looking good. We're going all the way out to the crust here. I'm gonna hit it with some salt, pepper, as always, a drizz of the olive oil. Get this thing loaded up. We'll watch it bake. In the pie, all loaded up. I got the uni. I preheated that super hot, full blast. Um, I turned it down just a second ago. That's what I do before I load it for my kind of like Santa Barbara uni standard bake. Going for a deck temp, you know, cranked and then shooting around 850 for the bake. Getting this thing all loaded up. That timer started. My standard bake. I shoot about three to four minutes preheating. Get that center deck at least 850, even higher. I like a full preheat before you're going to load the pie. Turn it down. We'll use that low temp for the first few turns, getting it around, then go into that ultra low zone, pass that lightning bolt clockwise and let it finish up because we like that crispy bottom. This pie is looking so far so good. We're about 30 seconds in. The dough felt really nice today. Puffing up pretty nice, some nice leoparding. That's what I'm looking for. About 30 seconds in, I'm thinking the, the, my first turn, but we'll see it's not going as fast as I thought, so you always gotta use your eyes. All right, here, I'm going in. Still using just a regular peel instead of a turning peel, making my life more difficult than it needs to be. But that's part of the challenge, right? Something like that. We're about a minute in. I'm gonna keep turning this on. I got the uni turned all the way down, but not into that ultra low zone yet, because I still wanna get that high heat to make sure I get that leoparding. Just a little bit over a minute in. I'm gonna go for another turn. Being careful not to rip it as always. This is looking really nice. You can see that zucchini start to almost cup up. The crust is starting to brown. All really good stuff. I'm gonna do probably one more turn here and then we'll go clockwise past that lightning bolt ultra low to finish it off. Get that crispy vibes going on. We're almost two minutes in here, going in for another turn. Finish off that one, you know, look at that. Maybe a little dark there, but that's okay. I think that'll eat really nice. I have some, some uh, T110 in the mix this time. That's a little bit verging the side of whole wheat. So we're seeing some more brown in here. It looks really nice, but even though it looks a little dark, I think that'll still taste good, but it's approaching maybe a little crispy there, but it'll be all good. All right, that final turn going now. Clockwise, past the lightning bolt into that ultra low zone. Getting that flame as low as it can go. Shooting for three to four minute bake. We're about 2.15 in here. So we're finishing up. Let's see here, yeah, it's looking really nice. At this point, you know, we're just kind of finishing it off by finishing, what do I mean? Making sure that crust is set on the bottom. I want that be able to pull, pick up a slice, not have all the toppings dump off. I want a little bit of crispness when I bite into it. Not like that crisp tender. That's what I like in so many things. I'm just rotating around, making sure I get all the spots, you know, seen here, making sure it's not burning or anything. I, the other day though, I was spinning, getting a little bit, having a little fun out here. I, I spun a pizza straight out of here onto the ground. That's that's full refire territory. Not what you want to do. Bake actively. All right, we're a little over three minutes. I'm thinking this thing's probably done here. Oh, it's going too far in. All right, this is uh, looking. Yeah, go maybe check the bottom here. All right, I'm pulling this thing. It's looking good to me. The Zook and 
roasted pepper and walnut pesto, for lack of a better term, going straight onto the rack. This pizza is like in fire mode. I'm gonna let it set, making sure that crust can set so we don't, you put it right on the plate, it just steams. Let that settle a little bit. I'm gonna take it inside, hit it with a little bit of chives, fresh basil, one final drizzle of olive oil, that salt and pepper. I like a seasoned pizza. Hit that thing with the salt, slice it up, meet you at the table. We'll give this thing a taste. It's pizza time. It's a full garden party on this one. I love the look of it. It's like full green on this thing. This one definitely brightens your day. Smells so delicious. That little pesto roasted pepper walnut spread waving up and when it hit that heat, it smells so good. We got that garlic in there too. All that hits, it's bomb. The bake on this looks really nice. Have a nice array of leopardine, some small bubs, some little bubs. That's what I like. The color looks nice too. I got a little bit of that T110 in the mix today. That was making it a little bit darker. That's how, and if you follow my um, recipe on santabarbarabaker.com. I have that little 90 grams in there. Play around with it. Play around with it. Just see what it might might do. That's what I'm doing here. And this looks bomb. Let's pick it up. Give it a taste. Oh, I, did you just hear that? That crunch as I picked it up with the crust like that? I'm all about that. I want a crisp bite, but tender on the inside. Never dry. I want to be able to pick it up just like this. Look at that bottom. It looks fully, like maybe a little dark. Along the edge there, you'll get that because the crust is heavier. The deck was really hot today. I shoot for about 850. It was over that when I loaded this thing, so cuidado. All right, this looks pretty good. Finish it up with the basil, the chives to bring it all together, a little drizzle of that olive oil. I can't wait to get into this thing. Let's give it a taste. Wow, I really love this pizza. Feel like I was getting a little burnout on my zucchini, my peppers, and then bam, something like this comes up and you're just like, I wanna just keep going. It's so good. That little pesto stuff, bring it together with the zooks. I feel you know, zucchini maybe can be a little bland. That's why you salt it, intensify that flavor. But you pair it with some things like this, that fresh garden vibe. It's so bomb. Hope you guys give this one a try. Recipe up on santabarbarabaker.com. Let me know what you think. Let me know, do zucchini suck on a pizza? I'll stop making them. Or tell me what you wanna see. Keep making those bomb pizzas. Keep dreaming about pizza. Tell your friends, Santa Barbara Baker. Check out the recipes, check out the Instagram, Santa Barbara Baker on there too. Keep dreaming, keep living, loving that pizza. This one's so bomb, I can't wait to crush it. One love.